right? So this is what the concept we discussed in our previous class. Say sir, no. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. So now what we are going to do is just observe the screen and try to understand what the pictures are talking about and try to tell me what exactly the meaning of that picture. This is the whole picture. This is only one picture. Try to observe the picture and try to tell me what exactly the concept is. Mm -hmm. Hi Matthew, how it's going? Great, thanks. How about you, please? Just look at the picture and try to understand what exactly the picture is talking about. It's, it's a just greetings and asking about it's simply greet, greeting and hi hello mm -hmm. in uh, four different uh, different uh, events or different moments okay so simply we can say it's a greeting right right so what is mean by greetings when you meet someone uh... mm -hmm. then you have to say something like starting conversations or something like that very good right uh... mm -hmm. yes sir just greet yes okay so uh, generally, what kind of uh, words or what kind of phrases do we use for our regular conversation as the greeting? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Sir. Good morning, afternoon, good evening. Right. Right. Anything else? Welcome. No, that is response. How are you? Okay, okay. Right, that is response. Right? Mm -hmm. So here I mentioned uh, three words. So first, hi. Hi indicates... Indicates what? In... Um, it, it's a formal. Uh huh. Informal. Very good. It's informal, right? Hello. Uh -huh. Hello is uh, semi-formal. Ah, semi. <laughs> right. So good morning, yes. good afternoon, good evening. Uh, this is formal, right? So now, where we can use informal, where we can use uh, semi-formal, where we can use uh, formal. We use uh, informal or semi-formal with our friends or close uh, relatives or like that. And uh, the formal is using with the official or Friend. professional greetings. Family, relatives, right? Right. So friends, family members, relatives, neighbors, right? Uh, sometimes even with uh, unknown people with the same age. In the case, we use that, right? So, right. informal. Then semi-formal. Semi-formal. Uh, when we can meet someone with more than, uh, more, more, more often, more time. Okay. Any different meanings? Uh, out of office, out of official premises, chatting, 
Hello. Can we say simply colleagues? Colleagues, yes. when you uh, saying to crowd, crowd, uh, crowd meetings or some somewhere else. Same age go, aged people are uh, you know the same kind of similar people in the uh, for example, if you are working for a company, right? But the other person is not working for your company, but he is also working as a similar kind of job. Right. In that case, we use for the first time we use formal. Then after we go for semi-formal. Right. Right. Right, sir. So now third type, formal. Formal with whom we use this? Not much bosses, office, official teachers. Our bosses, teachers, seniors, teachers, okay, seniors, fine, right? So, these are all the simple things we can call them as greeting or wish, wishing others, okay? So, if you met a person for the first time. How you supposed to wish them? How you supposed to greet them? That is what the concept we are discussing today. Okay, sir. Right. right. Fine. So, if you observe here, they have given a lot of greetings as well as the responses. Okay. Now I'm going to play okay, the sir. audio. Just listen to the audio and try to. Observe how they are pronouncing the greetings. For example, uh, if you are greeting, what is the pitch you have to use? If you are responding, what is the pitch you have to use? For example, if you are feeling happy, the pitch would be different. If you are feeling okay, somehow okay, then your pitch would be different. If you are feeling uh, low or if you are feeling exhausted, your pitch would be different. All right. So if you are feeling right. angry or if you are feeling happy, all these things can be understood by the way you are uttering the words, right? So try to absorb the pronunciation of the words and try to practice the similar way. Page four, exercise seven, saying hello. Part A, listen and practice. One. Hi, Matthew. How's it going? Three. Page four, exercise seven. Saying hello. Part A. Listen and practice. One. How is going? Okay, thanks. How about you? Hi, Mitch. How is it going? Hey, thanks. How about you, Lisa? Hi, Matthew. How's it going? Great, thanks. How about you, Lisa? Good morning, Mr. Garcia. How are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Three. Good afternoon, Linda. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you doing? Four. Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. 
the plate again yes sir page 4 exercise 7 saying hello part a listen and practice 1 hi matthew how's it going great thanks how about you lisa 2 Good morning, Mr. Garcia. How are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Three. Good afternoon, Linda. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you doing? Four. Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Right. So now, I pick up any one of the characters. All right. Hello, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So pick up Matching. any one of the characters and then practice. So one take. So, hi, yeah. Hi, Matthew. How's it going? Great. Thank you. How about, thanks, how about you, Lisa? Good morning, Mr. Garcia. How are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Good afternoon, Linda. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you doing? Good evening, Miss, Mrs. Morgan. Hello. Miss Chan, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. Right. So, here if you observe, first observation, Himanshu. Here, hi Matthew, how's it going? How's it going? You pronounce it as, how's it going? It's set, set. right? So try to correct it. Right. How's it's going? How's in the sense? How is it going? How is it going? Right. Right. How's it going? Next. Uh, Aloji. It great thanks. Yes. Right. So you are saying great thank you. Then after uh, you are going. So try to put a little focus. Okay. Right. So now what you can do is you can exchange the characters. Mm -hmm. Exchange the characters and then practice the same. Oh. Hi, Matthew. How's it going? Great, thanks. How about you, Lisa? Good morning, Mr. Grazia. How are you? I'm just fine, Alex. Thank you. Good afternoon, Linda. How are you? Pretty good. Thanks. How are you doing? Good evening, Mrs. Morgan. Hello, Miss Chen. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Right. So now, I'm going to uh, give you Right, so just look at the picture. Don't go through the conversation. Just look at the picture and try to understand what exactly uh, the conversation would be. Just look at the picture and try to understand. Just look at the picture. Yes. It's a library, I think. And notice boards. Written boards.
Hello. Right. I'm going to play the audio now. Just listen to the audio, and then after you can go through the conversation. Right. So first, listen to the audio. Page five, exercise eight, conversation. He's over there. Part A. Listen and practice. Excuse me, are you Stephen Carson? No, I'm not. He's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Stephen, this is your book. Oh, thank you. You're in my class, right? Yes, I am. I'm Jennifer Miller. Hey, David. This is Jennifer. She's in our math class. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Play it again. Yes. Page five, exercise eight. Conversation. He's over there. Part A. Listen and practice. <laughs> Excuse me, are you Stephen Carson? No, I'm not. He's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Stephen, this is your book. Oh, thank you. You're in my class, right? Yes, I am. I'm Jennifer Miller. Hey, David. This is Jennifer. She's in our math class. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Right. So now, yes. what you supposed to do is try to understand what are the expressions they use. I mean, the uh, the speakers they use. What are the things? Or what are the expressions they use as the greetings? Try to identify them and try to make a list. And what are the responses to the greetings? Try to make another list. So I'll give you only one minute time. So uh, focus on the greetings and the responses. Don't focus on the uh, rest of the conversation. Just focus on what are the greetings, what are the responses. So what uh, we have to do means uh, we just look on the pictures and no no greetings. What we supposed to do? Huh? So there is no a greetings. So just now you have looked at the picture, right? Right. And you have listened to the audio also. Yes. Now go through the conversation and try to okay. identify what are the greetings they used. And what are the responses they use? Just make two different okay. lists. One list for okay. uh, greetings, one list for questions. Okay. Yeah. Sir. All right. So now, uh, Alokji, just give me what are the expressions or what are the words they use as greetings. All right. Yes. And uh, yeah. so just, uh, Himanshu, you just tell me what are the response. One can tell me the greetings okay. and another one can tell me the yes. response. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, just, uh, the greet for uh, greet, purpose of greet, they use the excuse me. Okay. And the name of uh, individual name mm -hmm. and hi, hey. Okay. Four things they have used. Hey, hi, the name of the individual and excuse me. Right. Oh, so, I am sorry is also a greeting, right? Sorry? Oh, I am sorry. 
that one no. is also as a greeting or yes, that no. is a response it's, it's a response 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 for that huh? but the greet means dear uh, uh, the first first uh, uh, starting conversation start huh? the i think i am right sir i'm not getting uh greet means the first word we use to start the conversation okay so no no not like that a greeting means to wish a person like in our uh, indian style we use the we used to say namaste right so in western countries they used to say hello hi excuse me good morning like that right so mm -hmm. similar kind of words only we supposed to prefer here so excuse me is one greeting excuse me are you steven prasad so they are just interrupting and they are starting the conversation by greeting okay just uh, yeah getting the attention to get into the conversation to get into the conversation yes. all right so okay. now they are now he is saying steven means like question mark so it's a greeting it's not okay. a greeting right it's not a greeting hey yes yes, yes hi yes. excuse me these okay. are the three words we can see here as the greetings okay sir all right next responses the rest of the all conversation is nothing but responses response so, of that yeah. yes no i'm not he is over there so these are all the responses right so the second right, person sir. the first person who over talking to start the conversation they'll mostly start with the greeting the next person who over responding to that that is nothing but the response all right so right. as you are from technical background now what you are going to do is so i'm going to stop the sharing come to the screen turn on your videos you're still recording sir <laughs> every day i record it no problem <laughs> <laughs> right so you both are belong to technical background so now what we are going right. to do is i'll give you a topic you just need to introduce the topic mm -hmm. right how you are going to introduce the topic yes. mm -hmm. right so Means, the topic uh, topic like uh, a conversation or yeah it will be conversation only okay right so the first one uh, who is working for software companies what sir uh, pardon are you working who? for software companies uh, no i am working for electronics company okay electronics that's great right yes. so what I'm is your electronics favorite uh, electronic goods electronics like, books or goods whatever it may be electronic gadgets also means i didn't understand my favorite electronic yes. components or gadgets like yes. like that yes, yes. sensors hmm. sensors okay how about you yes. alok ji yes i'm working in software i i, I was working in software industries right and development so, software developments okay so software yes, development you yeah, know right so now what you supposed to do is for himanshu he is going to talk about his favorite uh, topic you are going to talk about uh, your software uh, software any software any new software or any application right so what you supposed to do is just assume that for example alok is talking uh, i and himanshu will be the audience right we are going to be your customers you just need to start the conversation how you are going to demonstrate your concept right how you are going to demonstrate your product so here we are not going to think or we are not going to judge your content we are going to just focus on how the way we are talking our aim is to speak that's it we don't need to bother about whether we are speaking right or wrong we are not to bother about that and we are not going to focus even we are speaking the truth or false 
that mm. what to a material here you are just focusing on what you are talking whether you are talking correct english or not that's it yes a similar way is, uh, right so first yes. start alok jain yes sir so what is the topic i have to speak sorry so for example as you are working for software companies you just assume that you just develop a new application any software or any android app right you just talk about yes it. how you are going to talk about that no so so uh, what in what context or what's what's the reason to speak what i have to speak about the properties and features about the softwares yes, yes, or yes. i have to sell okay just talk, for example if you are uh, selling your product how you will give the demonstration for example you invented or you created a new app application right mm -hmm. how can you demonstrate uh, the same application to your employees you are the senior person in that company and you are the team lead so you need to uh -huh. send the same application to your team members so how can you do that so uh, it's it it's completed or uh, it will uh, it is going to be completed, completed or whether you want to start huh. so if it is in under process then i will uh, convey and uh, prepare my teams uh, how our plan to come to go, uh, done this project project right see how you complete our project. wait a second give me a second here mm -hmm. i'm not going to ask you how you are going to do that right so mm. for example i just assume that if i uh, just i installed or i if i just uh, recently launched any application <clears throat> right so for example just mm -hmm. uh, look at my mobile phone right so okay. for example if i want to talk about my mobile phone so what i can do is i will talk about for example if you are all uh, just turn on your mobile phones then uh, download this uh, link then you will be able to uh, see this screen this is a screen this is called home page and right so these are the options you will be able to find like uh, charts status calls like that see whatever the app, okay. you just you just need to talk that's it whether uh, you are okay, okay, okay. Huh, or just is important you just speak yes, yes. there is need to be uh, whenever we have to speak mm -hmm. uh, yes the you have given me the correct example <laughs> like sir just 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 one second sir yeah. just to one one two second yeah hello himanshu ji hello sir Ah, are you there? Yes. Properly. Yes. Yes. Up come both the way. Nowadays, uh, uh, everyone is know that uh, here is the outbreak crisis of Corona. So our city persons are very much uh, confused and uh, having uh, great trouble to get. day to day fmcg products and uh, identify and uh, segregate the uh, product they want item they want what are the correct price they, they would have according to their they want to get the reasonable price product in a reasonable price so uh, just when i uh, received a call and uh, discussed with the uh, our uh, team of uh, process of disaster management from government so we uh, tried to develop and launched it recently so all the city people get uh, the product after they placing the order this app is regarded uh, is a just like that a, if you are buying some product from a mall and you go and search their uh, uh, re uh, required product and what is ready to deliver uh, uh, select them in a put into cart and uh, the, uh, when you are trying to put your cart the products and uh, the rates of product is showing you and uh, the total amount what you have to pay 
you can face the digitally so uh, you can, cannot exchange uh, the currency in notes so the dis dispersal of the viruses can be stopped and there is no need to be uh, go inside the mall and uh, uh, so, uh, and social distancing is also maintained uh, and individually will uh, approach you the company and uh, approach to you and deliver at your home it's a very reliable and perfect option uh, it's also authorized there is no need need or not the scope of any type of uh, uh, infringement or any type of uh, cheating and it's uh, there is no issue of traffic high traffic issue or accessibility issue and if we need some products want to be exchanged or replaced it can be easily availability so as per the e-commerce apps we can do but it's a local level you can arrange it and uh, we can maintain and we are free for free from uh, the trouble of coronavirus spreading and getting our all requirements at our home with full proof way and it's a lot of features the payment features are very uh, important feature of it and selection of uh, 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 searching based facility so you cannot uh, surf more this app you can get what uh, you can see what you want you can see what you get you want to see uh, at their end what is available in stock if out of stock or uh, it's to become you can select and put it into wish list and then we, the company or dmart will provide you when okay, they are buying you. again they can pro we can start now so i am here to give you introduction short introduction about weather sensors okay yeah so weather sensors are the devices which we are used for monitoring environmental uh, parameters like uh, your temperature uh, temperature wind speed wind direction then we have uh, barometric pressure also these all parameters will help you in different uh, fields like agriculture or you can say uh, it is necessary for uh, giving alerts for uh, different disasters like tsunami or earthquakes earthquakes are all, uh, there are richter scale which we are using uh, which, which sensor we are used for measuring that uh, earthquake uh, frequency then we have these sensors for uh, in agriculture uh, in agriculture field we used wind speed then humidity also then we use uh, parameter like um, barometric pressure for aviation purpose then if you uh, if you are planning for uh, planning for uh, some if you are planning for outdoor then we can use that weather sensors for forecasting weather uh, in that particular area there are different type of sensors for uh, there are different type of sensors like wind speed wind direction uh, then we have ambient temperature there are different companies which we are uh, dealing with like luft eco these are the company names which i am telling you about that uh, luft eco uh, campbell scientific is from us they are us make sensors they, maximum they are from germany but one or two three companies lie in uh, us so they are highly accurate sensors which tells about the environment uh, 
they are also used for forecasting uh, the uh, forecasting the weather information so if they like in tsunami areas we can forecast about tsunami also by using these sensors only there are different type of radars also uh, radio detection and ranging devices these are used for uh, used for they are used for parameters up to 500 kilometers there are different type of radars like x band radar c band radar xc band radars uh so these are this is the short uh, briefing about the weather sensors thank you